There are not a lot of roles for 80-year-old um, women. And to play a 91-year-old is a little close to the bone, but uh, intriguing. And I think it's a beautiful play. And I love the relationship that develops between um, Leo and Vera. So that's really my reason to do this. And also to work with my friend Betty, who's a wonderful director. So what drew me to this play was actually Pamela, who about a year ago was like, hey, next year there's a part in a play called 4,000 Miles that you would be perfect for. So it was kind of spur of the moment. I was like, okay, sure. I don't know if I really want to get into acting, but why not just give it a shot? So Amanda's actually a lot like myself. And I think my favorite part about playing her are the shoes specifically. Come see the show if you want to find out what I'm talking about. The reason I was originally attracted to this show was I, I saw it actually probably six or seven years ago and uh, immediately the relationship between Grandma and Leo just was very, very palpable for me and actually reminded me of the relationship between my own grandmother and myself and uh, I called her immediately was like, you have to read this show and uh, we both really, really enjoyed it, really bonded over it and then from there it was like when I saw there was an op opportunity to audition for it, I had to do it. Uh, and luckily got the role. And, and Leo's just one of those parts where there's so much to work with because Leo in scene one and Leo in the final scene are a completely different person. And it's just fun to find that trajectory and like what makes him tick and what makes him grow and what makes him not grow. I was first introduced to this play in an acting class and um, two classmates of mine did the Beck and Leo scene and I went, what is that? And when I finally had a chance to read the play, I don't. I don't think I've ever resonated with a character as much as I resonate with Beck. We are very similar in the sense of like growing up and moving on and leaving a huge part of youth behind with love and the sense of like nostalgia but acknowledging that it is time to grow up and to move on and to uh, make a difference in both my life and the world. And I think Amy Herzog writes her in a very real and very um, touching way and I'm very excited to be able to be part of it. <laughs>